Check components after opening the package box. Head assembly box. First horizontal and vertical arm box. Base body and caster box. Base weight and SMPS box. Open the base body box. Take out the base body and check it for any damage. After that, turn it over and place it on the floor. Insert four cassetters caster into the turned over case body, regardless of sequence while pressing with your hand. Hold the base body tightly with your hand not to make it move. Open the base weight and SMPS box. Take out two base weights and one SMPS to check their status. Align the middle groove of base weight number one to the turned over base body to mount it on. Prepare two screws to fix base weight number one and tighten them by using a wrench regardless of sequence. Adjust the middle groove of base weight number two where SMPS is attached to the turned over base body to mount it on. Prepare six screws to fix base weight number two and tighten them by using a wrench regardless of sequence. Turn over the base body to make the caster face to the floor. Open the vertical arm box and check the status. Make the bottom connection part of the vertical arm face to the center hole of the base body and insert the wire first and then connect the vertical arm to the base body. Pull out the wire from the base body hole by using a long nose. After completely pulling out the wire, cramp it to the base weight's SMPS. Put up the vertical arm straight again and completely connect it to the base body. Hold the vertical arm and tilt it to the side and then completely lean to the side the base body where the vertical arm is connected. Prepare a lock washer with diameter of 25 millimeters and a nut with diameter of 25 millimeters and make them face to each other and insert them to the wire. Rotate the lock washer and the nut up to the joint part of the vertical arm. Fully tighten the nut by using a long nose. Connect SMPS to the connection wire connector of the vertical arm. Connect SMPS earth and two strands of the vertical PE wire to the center hole of the base weight with two screws. Tighten the power case BKT as shown on the screen. Tighten four screws to fix the power case BKT by using a plus driver regardless of sequence. Put up the vertical arm straight once again. Hold the first horizontal arm right as shown on the screen and locate it under the upper connection part of the vertical arm. Push the first horizontal arm all the way up from the bottom of the vertical arm's upper connection part. Push the first horizontal arm inside and support it with your hands while opening a snap ring with a snap ring pliers and then Hook up the open snap ring to the vertical arm's upper connection part. Push it all the way into the grooves of the first horizontal arm joint to make sure the snap ring is completely hooked. Press down the snap ring with a tool or to tap it to make sure it completely reaches and insert it into the joint's groove of the first horizontal arm. Open the first horizontal arm's tension housing cover. If the cover is opened, you may see the vertical arm's wire. Hold the wire and insert it into the first horizontal arm's upper joint to pass through as shown on the screen and pull it down to the bottom. Connect the vertical arm to the first horizontal arm joint wiring. Check the vertical arm and the first horizontal arm joint's FE wire. Completely loosen the screw and the washer mounted on the first horizontal arm joint with the plus driver. Put two FE wire ring terminals to the loosened screw and then tighten it again. Fix two strands of the FE wire to the place where the first horizontal arm joint screw was with a plus driver. After fixing the FE wire, put on a joint cover over the first horizontal arm. There are screw docking holes on each side of the upper part of the first horizontal arm. 
Tighten the M3 screw to the screw docking hole on both sides. Install the vertical arm joint cap. Open the head assembly box and check the status. Hold the installed first horizontal arm with your hand and lower it down. Tighten the wiring connector first to assembly the first horizontal arm held with your hand and the head assembly. Hold and make the head lighting source face down and insert the head assembly into the first horizontal arm. Check whether the head assembly is completely installed in the first horizontal arm. After installing the head assembly, check whether the joint arm groove and the first horizontal arm's head locking key groove fit perfectly. Fix the first horizontal arm and the head assembly by inserting the head locking key to the adjusted groove. Hold the joint arm with your hand and rotate the prominent part to make it face down as shown on the screen. After aligning the hole as shown on the screen, tighten the joint arm bolt gradually with the M5 wrench and adjust the right and left tension of the head assembly. Adjust the right and left rotational tension smoothly while tightening the joint arm bolt gradually. If it slips without being fixed while checking the head assembly's operation, tighten the joint arm bolt by using the M3 wrench. Adjust the head knob and install it in the locking key hole as shown on the screen. Check whether the power switch below the vertical arm control handle is off. Plug the product power cord in the outlet of AC 100 to 250 volt. Press the power switch below the vertical arm control handle on. Press standby switch from the head assembly's control switch. If the LED light is on, check the product operation. Check any problem with the inspection pattern while turning the focus control knob. Press the up-down control button from the control switch and check whether there is any problem with three-step color temperature settings. Press the up-down control button from the control switch and check whether there is any problem with five-step illumination settings. Installation is completed. Experience yourself the best operation lamp that will make the optimal operation environment for you. Luvis.